Hi, everybody. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about when kind of personal development and um, inspirational things sort of become too much. And rather than um, like improving your life and uplifting your spirits, it actually drags you down and makes you feel miserable and lost and confused. <laughs> um, so basically, it kind of just comes all down to anything of too much of one thing is never good. Even too much of like a good thing is not very good. <laughs> um, now stay with me here. I love personal development. I love reading personal development books. I love, um, you know, following inspirational people on Instagram and social media. I love, um, you know, listening to inspirational YouTube videos and podcasts and um, things like that. But it can become too much. It can almost become kind of uh, counterproductive. And um, I don't want to say like dangerous because that sounds like really uh, dramatic, but it can have a negative impact on your life instead of a positive impact. Uh, and that's kind of where I just was, and I'm just now coming out of it. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about that and kind of, uh, what you can do if you're feeling a little overwhelmed and kind of dragged down by inspirational stuff and, uh, personal development and self-help. So basically like what is personal development? This is, um, these are books that develop you personally or spiritually or holistically. Uh, so these are books that, you know, give you tips on how to, and these are things that I, I talk about in my own podcast, um, and social media and stuff. And, uh, but these are things that, you know, help you to, uh, maybe establish, um, healthier practices in your life, like a daily spiritual practice or um, different ways to work with your mind and body and spirit. And, uh, you know, just different ways, different journaling techniques, basically just different stuff to, um, you know, improve your life. Um, and I don't, I mean, yeah, I guess to improve your life, different ways to heal aspects of yourself and your life. Um, and these are good things. You know, it's good to have personal development. It's good. I, I like to call it soul growth. It's good to have soul growth. We don't want to stay just stagnant and in one place in life and never evolve and never progress and never heal old wounds. We don't want to do that. We want to face our old wounds and heal them. We want to move forward as individuals and humans and souls. You know, we want to progress. So we don't, it's not good to stay stagnant and never work on yourself and your stuff. Um, but sometimes it can be too much. Uh, and the same with inspirational stuff, you know, sometimes it's very inspiring, especially, well, I guess either if you are a business, like an entrepreneur or not, um, you know, it's inspiring to follow people who inspire you, <laughs> you know, people who are kind of doing the things you want to be doing or, you know, the goals that you have and they're achieving these goals that can be inspiring because, uh, you know, it's, it's good to see people achieving these goals and doing these things that you yourself want to be doing. Um, that's why it's called inspiring. It inspires you to be able to go out and do those things. You know, you see somebody living the dream <laughs> that you have, it makes you think, you know, I can do that too. Look at this person and this person, they're doing these things. I can do it too. It is possible. Um, and it's inspiring, but that can also drag you down and kind of take you into a dark place if you have too much of it. So basically it's important. I feel like this has been like 2018 has been the year of balance almost of people learning how to balance themselves, how to balance their lives, how to balance just different aspects of their lives, shadow work versus like high vibe work, um, all different kinds of stuff. It really has been the year of balance. And we need that when it comes to even good things like social, uh, social development, <laughs> personal development and inspirational things. Um, because here's what happens if we're constantly doing personal development. We're constantly reading the next book on how to fix the next thing that's wrong with us, or we're listening to the next podcast, mine included, of, you know, tips and ways to do things to make your life better and all these things. If we're constantly doing that, first of all, we're never giving ourselves a chance to integrate the things that we're working on, you know, if we're reading different books and podcasts and blogs about how to heal, you know, certain past traumas or, um, you know, how to move forward in certain things or how to manifest certain things. Um, and we're constantly reading about that and learning about it. 
but then never giving ourselves a chance to actually integrate that into our lives, we're really not progressing at all. Yeah, you may have the knowledge, um, you know, or the tools to access to work on these things or to do these different things in your life. But unless you actually like take a minute to put the book down, you know, finish the book, put it away, don't start another book, listen to the podcast, turn it off, don't start another podcast and integrate it, you know, give yourself a few weeks, a couple months or whatever to integrate the, the things that you were learning. Because otherwise, if you're just constantly going to the next thing, to the next thing, to the next thing, and not actually applying the, the tools and techniques and the things that you're learning to your life, um, you're going to feel like, you're going to get to a point that you feel like, okay, my life is still shit. <laughs> I still feel miserable. I still have these past issues. I still am not progressing where I want to be in life. What the hell's the problem? I'm, you know, I'm reading all of these books. I'm listening to all of these podcasts. I'm taking all of this advice and nothing is changing. And that's going to make you feel like crap. And it's probably going to make you feel like maybe you're failing because like, well, what am I doing wrong? Like all of these people are saying that these things work, you know, do X, Y, and Z and you'll heal this in your life or do this and it'll improve your life in this way. And it's not working for me. Like what the hell is wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you. Uh, a couple of things to that. First, it could just be maybe you haven't found the, the, correct thing that works for you because what works for one person in a area of their life may not work for you. Um, but it could also just very well be that you haven't integrated or applied, like truly applied the things to your life that you were learning. I know I'm guilty of that for sure. I've read books and stuff and I'm like, all right, I've read this book and now my life's going to be great. And it's like, no, <laughs> because I'm not applying it. I'm not actually doing these things. It's almost like, I, I correlate um, like reading about like absorbing personal development and then not actually applying it to your life. I correlate that with wanting to lose weight. And so you watch a bunch of, uh, you know, exercise videos on YouTube and you read about a bunch of different types of diets, but then you never actually do the workouts and you never actually, you know, try the different ways of eating for yourself. Uh, you know, you can read all the diet and fitness books in the world. You can watch all the fitness videos in the world, but until you apply that to your life, you're not going to lose any weight. Um, and the same with personal development, spiritual development, emotional development stuff. You know, you can watch all the YouTube videos and read all the books um, and that's awesome. That's great. But unless you apply it, it's not going to work in your life. And you know, you're going to then it's almost like it's going to backfire because you're just like piling all of this self-help stuff onto you and then it's going nowhere. And so it almost makes you feel even worse than before you started the personal development. So that's number one. If you're working on personal development or anything, give yourself some time to integrate it and in more than just like a day or two. And again, I'm guilty of that. I've read books on things and while I'm reading the book, I'm applying the things to my life. But then once I'm done with the book, it's like, meh, like I start to fizzle out. And then I'm wondering why, you know, two months later, I'm having the same issue that I thought that I dealt with. And then I'm like, okay, no, because I didn't actually apply it to my life. and continue to work with it. Um, so definitely if you're feeling down, you know, if you're like, I'm doing the personal development, I'm doing it and I'm still going nowhere, really be honest with yourself. And are you applying these things to your life? Are you having personal development overload? If that's the case, shut off the media, shut off the books, shut off the books, close your books, put them on the shelf and just live your life live your life for a little bit and kind of give yourself a chance to like detox from the personal development because it can just become too much sometimes. The other thing is inspirational stuff. You know, it's, it's great to, um, they always say you, like when you're working on something in your life, you um, are the most like the five people that you hang out with or associate with or whatever. So if you're hanging out primarily with people who are complaining about their jobs and not doing anything in life and not going anywhere, like that's kind of where you'll stay in your life. But if you're wanting to progress in life, surround yourself with five people who are doing kind of what you're wanting to be doing and you'll kind of start to become a little bit more like the, those people. Um, and this doesn't have to be people that you know in your life either. This could be you know, the, 
five different podcasts that you listen to of really inspirational people or five different, um, you know, bloggers that you follow that really inspire you or Instagram accounts. Uh, you know, so these, it can be good. It can be good because you can be like, wow, you know, that person's doing this and this, and that's what I want to do. And, you know, you listen to their tips and tricks and you're, you're following it and you're getting inspired by them. That can be a good thing but then it can also start to become too much. And this has been talked about so often, so I'm not gonna go too much into this, I don't think. Um, but, you know, we can start, there's a fine line between being inspired by somebody and then comparing ourselves to somebody. And if you find yourself following these different accounts that at one time inspired you, but then now you're finding yourself scrolling through their feed and you're comparing yourself or beating yourself up. Like, well, yeah, uh, look at them. They're on this trip. Or, you know, if you have jealousy feelings, um, unfollow those people for a little while. Unfollow them. It's okay to unfollow people. Um, there's an account that I follow, and I'm not going to say her name. I've actually followed and unfollowed her multiple times. Um, because sometimes I follow her because I'm like, yeah, this is inspiring. And I'm listening to her tips and tricks on, um, she's a money coach basically. And, um, sometimes I'm like, yeah, and I'm really into it. And then other times I'm like, okay, this is just making me feel bad. <laughs> like this, it's making me feel bad. And so I unfollow her. <laughs> and then other times when I want that inspiration, I'll follow her again. Um, but <laughs> so it's okay. If you notice yourself, if you're on somebody's account and it's not making you feel good, then unfollow them for a little while, you know, unfollow them. Um, if you're on their account and you're not feeling inspired and hopeful and joyful, and instead you're feeling like, uh, you know, envious or comparing and you're feeling bad, unfollow them. And again, this has been said a thousand times, but remember what we're seeing on social media is just a small little sliver into somebody's life. And more often than not, it's a small little sliver of the good things going on in their lives, you know? A lot of time, especially with these really large, like, inspirational accounts and stuff, um, a lot of time they just show the good and they don't talk about, um, you know, the stressful moments that they're having and the downfalls that they're having. They're human. So even if you go to somebody's account and you're like, they have the best life, nothing ever goes wrong for them, yes, it does. It does. <laughs> they're just not sharing it because they're a freaking human being living in this world. And it is impossible to be a human being living in this world and not occasionally have crappy things happen to you and have really bad days and have your own self doubt. Um, so it's important to remember that to not compare yourself to what you're seeing on social media. And kind of like with the personal development, you know, like shutting the books, turning off the podcast, turning off the YouTube channels, um, delete your social media apps for a while. You don't have to delete your whole account, but, you know, delete Facebook, delete Twitter, delete Instagram for a while, um, and just live your life. This kind of goes back into with shutting everything off for the personal development and just living your life. The same thing with social media. It can be, it can start to get really, um, like it drags you down. And I just recently deleted my Instagram app. Um, I'm already like very infrequently on Facebook. So that one wasn't like, I didn't feel like I needed to delete Facebook. Um, and I'm, it's pretty much it that I'm on Facebook and Instagram because I'm an old lady. Um, I'm not really on Twitter ever, but I deleted the Instagram app. Uh, it's been about a week now and it's been amazing. I was feeling kind of really stuck in my business. I was feeling really down on myself. I was starting to feel really frustrated. I was feeling really lost and not knowing what to do with my life and my business because I was so invested in what everybody else was doing with their businesses and their lives. Um, and that can really, uh, that can really cloud your judgment and cloud your perception of your life. Um, and within just a few days of deleting the Instagram app, I had so much clarity in my business and the direction that I want to go. Um, and which honestly, it really, from the outside looking in, probably not a whole lot is going to change from, for my business, but the energetic, the internal energetic shifts have been major and I feel excited again about my business. I feel excited about my life. Um, and for a while there, I was just feeling really bad. I was starting to feel really bad. I was looking at all these other um, entrepreneurs, especially spiritual entrepreneurs and stuff and comparing myself, um, you know, accounts and things that I followed at one time that were really inspiring, were just making me feel bad. Um, and literally just within a few days of deleting the Instagram app and not absorbing myself into that, I was feeling better about myself. I was having more clarity. And now um, probably tomorrow or 
Monday, maybe I'll get back on um, Instagram and I feel good about it. I'm excited to be on there again. I'm excited to share stuff. Um, and so it's, it's just, it's really important to kind of walk away from the social media, walk away from the inspirational stuff, walk away from the personal development and the self-help. Um, you know, it'll all be there when you come back to it. All of those uh, personal development and self-help podcasts, YouTube channels, uh, blogs, books, those will all still be there. Um, the same with the inspirational social media accounts, or even if it's not an inspirational account, it's just social media in general. I mean, it's all still going to be there. And I know because we're so plugged into to social media that it can feel like almost the end of the world or like uh, FOMO, fear of missing out if we're not online. Um, and honestly, like the first couple of days, you may be like, I wonder what this person's doing. I wonder what this person's posting. Um, but honestly, it's not, it's, it's really not that bad. It's not that bad. You'll get back on and you'll be like, yeah, everything's basically exactly how it was when I left it, but you'll have a fresher attitude with it all. You'll have a fresher perspective. The same with the, um, self-help books and stuff, you know, you'll put them away and then, uh, just live your life, <laughs> you know, live in the moment, live in your life. Um, and then when you go back to these books, you'll probably be a little more inspired to uh, take action with what the books and the podcasts and stuff are telling you. Um, but yeah, that's kind of just what I wanted to talk about today, that it's okay. And especially as a business owner, really quick, <laughs> it can feel like if I am not online, then do I really have a business? Yes, you do. It's okay if you're a business owner to take time off. It's all right. You can, you can delete the app and come back in a week or two and everything will be fine, like it'll be fine, it's okay. Um, so don't feel like you have to be plugged in. And also that, gosh, this could be a whole other episode. When we feel like we have to be online and we need to be posting things, um, it, and this is kind of where I was too and why I was like, I need to delete this app for like a week and take a step back. Um, it's like soul sucking, draining. As a business person, as an entrepreneur, to feel like you need to be posting things. Like, it's, it's just not fun. And when we take the joy out of our businesses and our lives, um, it doesn't go so well. Things don't go so great. <laughs> when you don't have the joy um, that you're bringing to things, it doesn't go so awesome. So give yourself some time if you need to. Like, it's okay to not constantly be working on yourself. It's okay to not constantly be like needing to improve yourself. You know, just live with yourself as you are for a little while. Um, and then again, the books and the podcasts and everything will always, they'll still be there. So, all right. I hope that this uh, resonates with you and I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.